This is Paul Clinton, web editor at Police Magazine. We're here at SHOT Show 2012, and we got a good opportunity here to speak to uh, one of the uh, uh, competitors and stars of the upcoming uh, Top Shot Season 4. Uh, we're here with Michelle Viscusi. Uh, Michelle, uh, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. You having some fun at the show here? Yeah, definitely. The show's a lot of fun. There's so much stuff going on here. There's no way you can even get through it all. Now talk to me a little bit uh, about some of the stuff you're doing. Uh, you're a, um, a spokesperson uh, for uh, a company called uh, Red Star Arms. Right. Tell us a little bit about who they are who they are, and what they do. Okay. Red Star Arms is a manufacturer. It's, basi it's basically all AK parts. I mean, they have other American-made parts that they sell as well. But yeah, it's big on AK. You're probably doing some, uh, signing some posters, that kind of, that kind of stuff? Yeah, I'll be signing posters at Ho Grip here later on. So Michelle, you're you're working uh, um, down on the U.S. Uh, Arizona uh, Mexico border. Um, you're uh, an active uh, Army MP. Tell us a little bit about some of the work you're doing down there. So down by the border, all of our National Guard were all stationed at a different location. Um, they put us in a specific ugh, specific spot. Um, we're down there for 24 hours a day, and we just observe and report and look for illegals crossing over. And then we call it into BP, and they go out and get them for us. Now, how, how does the, the Border Patrol seem down there? Do they, do they seem like they could use a little more manpower from the feds? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, us there are helping them a lot, and we do a lot. We catch a lot more people while we're out there. Now you're a top shooter. Tell us a little bit about the, 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 kind, of, uh, the kind of handgun that you like to use and that you prefer. My most favorite handgun is a Glock 34. I love Glocks. I mean, I know other people are like, eh, about Glocks, but it's my favorite. Polymer pistol, not a plastic gun? <laughs> yeah. What, what do you like about it? Um, I mean, I just love the way it shoots. It feels in my hand. Um, I mean, it shoots amazing for me. It's, and it's light and accurate for me. Now, t can you tell us a little bit about the show? You're, you're probably uh, under under uh, a little bit of a, a, a secrecy uh, agreement there, or gag order, but uh, what, what can you tell us about the upcoming season of Top Shot? Upcoming season of Top Shot is going to be awesome. Um, there's a lot to look forward to. I mean, it's not going to be, hopefully, it's not going to be too much drama like season three. Um, we have a great cast. There's going to be a lot of different surprises. Uh, it's going to be bigger, better. Cool. Well, uh, what, what about uh, one last question just as far as, uh, you know, shooting competitions and, and officers. Uh, would you have any, any thoughts for active law enforcement about maybe, um, you know, what, you know, perhaps maybe, a, um, you know, a tip for them as far as improving their accuracy? Yeah, just keep getting out there and practice. Practice, practice, practice. It makes perfect, trust me. You can never practice enough. Um, no, I know. Just Accuracy is key. Take your time, slow down, and just shoot well. Aim well, and trust practice. <laughs> Very good. You see any zombies out there on the border? Oh, yeah, all the time. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. Well, hey, I really appreciate you uh, taking some time to speak to us, and, uh, you know, I hope you have a, a good, good rest of the show, and, and thanks for your time. Thank you so much.